I was diagnosed at 26. Um, right after my 25th birthday, I decided to make some changes. So I, I joined a gym and, um, and uh, within a month, I, I started losing all this weight. I was drinking water all the time. I said, man, this is really working. I don't know why I'd ever did this before. Uh, what I, of course, did not realize is that I was deep into uh, ketoacidosis. And, and basically, they told me if it, if it had been, uh, you know, another few days or a week, I, I would have been a, a coma candidate because um, the, the DKA was pretty, pretty intense at that point. Um, so uh, I got really lucky that, you know, I just happened to be at my brother's that weekend and, and he was able to, to spot those symptoms because I, I had nobody in my life that would have um, would have understood that. And so it was great to have a, a close person, you know, to kind of to kind of connect with and and one of the other fortunate things about um about my diagnosis and, and being in that spot where i was seeing him again for first time in many years is you know we got very close um after that and so uh when i ended up buying a house in Colorado. I actually moved uh, about a mile away <laughs> from where he lives. And so so we kind of, um, you know, uh, shared all this kind of medical stuff, but then, then we became close friends after that. Looking at my daughter now, I, I try to watch out for, you know, for those same symptoms that I had. Um, because if it, if it really hadn't been for my brother, I mean, it, it wouldn't have made any difference. The doctors didn't, um, the doctors didn't catch it. The, you know, people were seemingly unconcerned about it, um, where I had some, you know, very serious stuff, uh, going on that, you know, uh, people didn't have enough knowledge to actually, um, figure it out.